There was one great Sankirtan program organized. So Samartha Ramadas were there, many other great devotees were there. Tukaram was there. So when Tukaram, when he came in front of the Lord, he started Sankirtana. It was so glorious that nobody was sitting, everybody was chanting, dancing, the entire area was fully enlivened. His actual name is Tukaram Ambi, they were from a trader profession. Initially they were very well-to-do family. He was married, they had a son. But soon there was a terrible famine in that area. They lost everything. So much so that his wife and son also passed away because of some disease. His relatives were shunning him, they discarded him because he was without money. Then uh, he married his second wife, Jijabai. She is little short-tempered lady. Demanding lady, commanding lady. By seeing all these material variations, Now, wife was very much concerned because family means maintenance, money, social prestige. So then once he met Lord Chaitanya who initiated him into this Vaishnava Sampradaya of chanting. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was uh, travelling across South India, when he came to Pandrapur in that purport process, he met Tukaram and initiated him into the system, which overflooded the entire Maharashtra area for love for Lord Vitala. Because at that time, he is from a lower community and higher community people were always having 
these issues how come he can write songs how he can he becomes popular so they informed the king that there is a low, lower person who is doing disturbance in the society so the king invited both the parties so they they had informed him that he is a shudra and now he is singing and he is dancing and he is making people about devotion all these things and all so the judge wanted to know what is actually he had asked her, have you written these abangas tukaram said i am just an instrument sir it was dictated by the lord i am just nimitta matram so the judge yes accepted yes he is accepting that he has written so let him be have as punishment Tukaramachi Gatha all the songs what he had written and through him the river he sat there near the river 14 days he was meditating upon the lord hands over to him then all the people there who are listening or who are seeing all this miracle they be, they had their faith that yes he is a great devotee the king of that province is called as shivaji maharaj a great devotee a disciple of samartha ramadas so once he wanted to understand more about uh, tukaram so samartha ramadas directed him to go and meet tukaram so when he came here tukaram he was very much carried away by the renunciation of tukaram his knowledge and capacity by his songs he was very much he wanted to take his initiation but he said no you are already under uh, samartha ramadas you go and accept his shelter only So one day when Tukaram was not at house, he gave an abundance of wealth and sent him to the Tukaram's house. But Tukaram, when he came home, he saw it is like a diversion. he became as if like bitten by a snake he immediately said to the people please take back all this wealth i have the supreme wealth of lord what vitala itself i don't want all this material wealth i am completely satisfied with lord vitala itself i don't want some more illure man so then his respect uh, shivaji maharaj respect for tukaram increased more and more then shivaji maharaj comes and prays obeisances at both his gurus whom he treated as both his eyes so this is what the glory of depending upon the lord the whole aspect for us is by this devotee's lifetime we get an opportunity to know uh, how to be a complete depend upon the lord not to be independently be carried away not depend upon our personal efforts past is be depend upon the lord 
take the guidance of pure devotees and make our life successful. That was the whole and sole intention in all these devotee lives.